assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss the properties of inverse trigonometric trigonometric functions now the property first is we have to prove that that sin inverse 1 upon x equals to cosec inverse x second property is which connects you know cos inverse with sec is cos inverse 1 upon x is uh, sec inverse x while as we had third one is tan inverse of 1 upon x is cot inverse x here for first or this part a that is sin inverse 1 upon x you know that the domain of, of uh, sin is always you know interval 1 upon uh, minus 1 1 which implies that 1 upon x is always greater or equals to 1 and less or equals to 1 similarly the domain for cos is always closed interval minus 1 to 1 which implies that when x belongs to minus 1 1 1 by x belongs to you know x is greater or equals to 1 x is or le less or equals to 1 similarly for this tan inverse 1 upon x it is always tan inverse 1 upon x is cot inverse x x greater than 0 now here we will put you know prove the part a now if we put y equals to cosec inverse x which implies that x equals to cosec y because by composing both sides by cosec and using the concept of the inverse of two functions which is identity function which implies that x equals to 1 upon sin y because cosec is 1 upon sin y or sin y is 1 upon x now multiplying by sin inverse it is y equals to sin inverse 1 upon x here uh, this uh, y is cosec inverse x which implies that cosec inverse x is uh, equals to sin inverse 1 upon x here x is greater or equals to 1 or less or equals to 1 that is this uh, this identity or equation is uh, you know valid only when x is greater than 1 or x is less or equals to minus 1 because the domain for sin is interval minus 1 to 1 which implies that 1 upon x here belongs to minus 1 1 when 1 upon minus 1 is greater or equals to minus 1 less or equals to 1 it implies that actually x is greater or equals to 1 less or equals to minus 1 similarly you can prove that cos inverse 1 upon x is sec inverse x by putting y equals to sec inverse x and tan inverse 1 upon x is cot inverse x by putting y equals to cot inverse x and using you know this concept this procedure now the property second is prove that we have to prove that sin inverse of minus x is minus sin inverse x tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse x and cosec inverse of minus x is minus cosec inverse x Now, if we put, you know, we will prove part A, that is, if we put, when we put y equals to sine inverse of minus x, which implies that by pre-multiplying by sine y on both sides, sine by both sides, that is, by composing, pre-multiplying on both sides, it is sine y equals to sine of sine inverse of minus x, which is simply minus x by using the concept of inverse which implies that x equals to minus sin y you know that for simple trigonometric function minus sin y is always sin of minus y minus sin y is always sin of minus y which implies that x equals to sin of minus y or we can simply say that sin inverse of x is minus y but y is sin inverse of minus x which implies that minus y is minus sin inverse of minus x transferring the terms on both sides it is sine inverse of minus x is simply sine inverse of minus sine inverse of x that is sine inverse of minus x is minus sine inverse of x similarly you can prove these two properties like uh, uh, tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse y and cosec inverse of minus x is minus cosec inverse y by putting y equals to tan inverse of minus x and y equals to in this case in part c you have to put or you should put y equals to cosec inverse of minus x and pre multiplying 
or pre composing in part uh, b by tan and in part c by quasic now the property third is cos inverse of minus x now for these three that is uh, sine quasic and tan it simply equals to minus 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 but for these three remaining three trigonometric functions that is cos and cos sec and cot cos inverse of minus x is minus pi minus cos inverse similarly sec inverse of minus x is pi minus sec inverse while as cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot x so we have to prove these three identities now in part a we will put y equals to cos inverse of minus x which implies that cos y is minus x x equals to uh, minus cos y you know that cos x of minus y equals to plus y plus cos y so when cos is minus cos is negative in the second quadrant that is when we put cos of minus pi minus y because pi minus y is in the second quadrant in second quadrant value of the cos is negative while as cos of cos omits the positive value the negative value that is cos of minus y is minus plus cos y so here how to write this minus cos it is simply cos of pi minus y because cos uh, pi minus theta that is 180 minus you know some angle is always negative is always negative that is here it is again by pre multiplying or pre composing by cos inverse it is cos inverse of x is pi minus actually it is pi minus y which is pi minus y is here cos inverse of minus x or we can by transferring it is simply cos inverse of minus x is pi cos inverse of x similarly you can prove that you know sec inverse of minus x is pi minus sec and cot inverse of is pi minus cot here you have to use you know uh, minus here in part b minus sec y is uh, sec of pi minus y similarly cot is minus minus cot is cot pi minus theta because in uh, in uh, second quadrant value of these trigonometric functions that is cos sec and cot they are always negative they are always negative so in this way you can prove b part and c part now the fourth property is sine inverse of x plus cos inverse is pi upon 2 tan plus cot inverse is pi upon 2 and sec inverse plus cosec inverse is pi upon 2 we have to prove now we will prove here the part first now let y equals to sine inverse y we have to prove that sine inverse plus cos inverse x is pi upon 2 which implies that sine y is x or x equals to you know that um, cos 90 minus theta because in first quadrant 90 minus theta is first quadrant in first quadrant you know tan gets converted into cot cot gets converted into tan this uh, sin into cos and cos into sin while as cot gets this uh, sec gets converted into cosec and cosec into sec so here x sin y is x which implies that x is cos pi minus pi by 2 minus y because cos 90 minus theta is sin theta that is this which implies that cos inverse x is pi upon 2 minus y or uh, cos inverse x is pi upon 2 minus sine inverse of x which implies that sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi upon 2 pi upon 2 similarly you can prove that this uh, um, this tan inverse plus cot inverse x is pi upon 2 and sec inverse plus cosec inverse is pi upon 2 uh, you sh you should simply put here y equals to y equals to tan inverse here uh, y equals to tan inverse uh, x and in this put y equals to sec inverse x and use and use sec of uh, 90 minus theta is cosec in this tan of 90 minus theta is cot so in these are the properties of uh, trigonometric functions inverse trigonometric functions inshallah from tomorrow onwards we will use these uh, you know properties to solve you know the given 
प्रॉब्लम्स सो थैंक यू